Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. And guess what? Fell off the wagon and didn't shoot a few videos for a few days. Uh, but here we are, back again, doing some another video. Uh, this will probably be, be day 12, I believe, once I upload one that I haven't uploaded. Uh, damn those old habits. Anyway, here we are. Repetition, repetition, repetition. We'll get better. Um, literally create those new neural pathways. Um, and yeah, just make sure that we create habits of action that we need to do. A little bit better. Um, what I wanted to talk about though is uh, something I was just literally doing some writing about and I'm like, oh, this is going to be perfect to form a video. Um, basically, the idea is The, the, the law, current laws of physics, as best we understand, uh, laws of thermodynamics, I believe, don't get me, don't quote me on that, anyway, um, but essentially, energy cannot be created, nor can it be destroyed. So, what that means is I cannot create a brand new energy out of nothing. I'm going to have to be pulling that energy out of something. Just like our mobile phones, we need to charge it. Uh, you know, when a battery needs to be charged, that energy needs to be pulled from something. Then that energy gets dissipated when we utilize it and it gets pushed out into the world and atmosphere and ions and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, here's me connecting a few dots as per usual, uh, just making the random connections as I best see fit. Uh, but, so if all energy, if energy cannot be created nor destroyed and all thoughts are energy, then, and all time is happening all the time, then the direct access to the infinite intelligence, the, the universal mind, is something that we can all tap into. So if we can sit down and, and meditate or, or switch off our human brain that we, that we have, um, and get into a state where you are just allowing energy to come into your body, then you are actually accessing the universal mind and therefore you are being able to access every single thought that has ever happened and will ever happen. Even thoughts that haven't happened nor will ever happen, you'll still have access to because they're working in a way that is outside of this reality that we are existing in. But by you having that thought, therefore, it is actually happening. So that's the quantum field. The quantum field is where all possibilities are real um, and all outcomes are real. And that just, just blows my mind. <laughs> so just wanted to share that thought with you guys this morning. Um, you know, again, laws of physics, no energy can be created or destroyed. Every single thought is literally energy. Um, and we can pick that up through science. Like that's, that's, that's not woo-woo. Thought is energy because we can read it in our brain remotely. So we can put a machine over your head and every time you have a thought that we then see everything firing up and that, and that machine's picking up your, literally picking up your thoughts. And because all time is happening all the time, you have access to all thoughts that are ever going to happen and that have ever happened. You just switched off from it. You have disconnected yourself from the universal mind that we all have access to. And I think that's a pretty, pretty bloody cool thing. Uh, you are, if, if you, put that kind of a concept into a superhero, into the Marvel Universe, you know, um, then you'd be like, holy shit, you know, that is a superhero. But the crazy thing is, you are that superhero. You have the power and ability to do that. And as best as I understand, it's not breaking any laws of physics. But I'm also not a uh, physicist, so 
This is just me, again, connecting dots as I best see fit. <laughs> anyway, that is it. That's for now. Uh, very early in the morning, hence why my hair is so crazy. A um, bit, bit of peacocking going on. But uh, yeah, I'm really keen to hear your thoughts about that concept. Uh, a little bit of a rambling this morning, but really keen to hear your thoughts about that concept. The universal mind and in infinite intelligence is uh, are two subjects that have been spoken about a bit by other people, um, and it's just you know not not a general concept for the general public. But here we are bringing it to the general public. So keen to hear your thoughts. Let me know. Uh, as always, leave a comment. Uh, slide in my DMs. Uh, send smoke signals, carry pigeons, whatever you need to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And that's it. We'll sign off until next time. Uh, as always, much love and namaste.